I'm a little frustrated. Um, and I want to start off by saying uh, Beyonce, Queen B to all the beehives. I love Queen B. Um, I know a lot of people in Queen B's camp. Um, and so this is not a direct hit at, I believe, um, a legend in my generation, um, a general in my generation, a beast in the music business. Um, not just music business, but the business side of things. I believe her, what her and, and Hove have done, Jay-Z have, have built is absolutely amazing. I'm going to go on record and say this, that Beyonce and her amazing husband are already a net worth billionaires. And as I was reading this particular story of how a young lady, uh, when I did the math total, she gave away about $100,000 uh, to Beyonce to experience uh, the Renaissance Tour. Now, again, I, I've sent my cousins to go see the Renaissance Tour um, in Atlanta. I gave, I bought a suite for people um, uh, in D.C. And so I, I, I've contributed to uh, the Renaissance experience for some of my family members and for some of my friends. But I also have money already invested, saved, and, and, and I'm debt free, right? You know what I'm saying? So I already have my foundation covered, but I do not have um, 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 a whole bunch of stuff going towards Queen B. Um, there's this young lady. She said that she saved. She calls it the Beyonce Trust Fund that she put aside starting 10 years ago. Her experience was close to $5,000 for her ticket. For her entire experience, for her ticket, um, playing right there and everything, she dropped $5,000 that she had to start saving for 10 years ago. 10 years ago. I want to I put a pause right there. I'm going to break down the math here, right? I'm going to put a pause right there. But Beyonce's 57-stop tour will make about $2.1 billion this year. Many fans... Not all fans, but a lot of fans um, had to really step into their personal savings account, this this thing says. Now, many people had to save for five years because they knew she was going on tour again, and they were saving, they were saving, they were saving just to go see Beyonce dance on the stage. Now, again, I'm going to say this. I think Beyonce puts on a great show. I think she's a great performer. I even think she's a great vocalist. Hands down. But I believe... Queen B will look at you and say, if you have no savings, if you have to save for 10 years to come see me, if you have no investment, and if you choose to come invest into me, where I'm already a billionaire, and you have nothing invested for you and your future, I'm pretty sure Queen B would be like, nah, darling, that's not a good investment. I know pro some of y'all are probably thinking, well, Anthony, how in the world did she spend $100,000 on Beyonce? Well, I want you to go over here. Uh, CJ, send me over to uh, my uh, screen here. Uh, if you come over here to anthonyoneal.com, if you haven't been on my website, please come check it out. Uh, but when it comes to building wealth, right, I want you to come down here and click on the wealth calculator, or you can come down here and click on your wealth projection calculator. I want you to uh, project your wealth. So when you come over here, you're going to type in, let's just say this young lady was the age of 25, right? Oh, no, let's, let's give her 30. Let's give her 30. Let's say she is 30 years old today, right? On um, what day she plan on retiring? So when I say retiring, I want you to think about it like this. Um, this is not just about retiring. At, at what age do you want to stop relying on you and your time to exchange for money, right? So at what age do you no longer want to have to put in time to get paid? So let's just say this young lady wanted to retire at the age of, I'm going to say uh, 65. You know what? Let's go down and say 60, right? Uh, let's just say she put that investment in there. If she just put that investment in there of five thousand dollars this is how much do you have in your investments right now? So she's already been saving for Beyonce. So she already has $5,000 set aside, right? What do you think your annual return will be? Well, what, right now we're seeing over a 20, 30 year um, time frame, we're getting at least 10%, 10% of a return, okay? How much can you contribute monthly? Just for numbers sake, just so we can see exactly what would happen if she just kept that money in there and she didn't put nothing else into the account, nothing else into the account, how much money did she literally give to Beyonce and take away from her future? If she just kept the $5,000 in that account, she called it a trust fund. If she just kept that money inside of a, a, a mutual fund, what will she get with a 10% return? Look at her results going to pop up over here. What will she get? 
That doesn't make sense. Oh, I put in wrong number over here. <laughs> uh, 60. I said 60. What would she get? Boom. Uh, 99187 dollars That's if she put nothing else in it. If she just put that five thousand dollars aside and left it in there for thirty uh, for thirty years, didn't touch it at all, she would make ninety nine thousand dollars. Now she was saving for ten years, so this means every single month she was putting in some money. Let's just say, how much can you contribute monthly? Let's just say this young lady put in just fifty dollars, fifty dollars into this particular account into a mutual fund. What will she get from this? Two hundred and twelve thousand. Dollars. Her initial balance was five thousand dollars. Her contribution, she only contributed eighteen thousand dollars over the thirty-year time frame, and because of the compound interest, she gained one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. So she literally gave Beyonce over a hundred thousand dollars because she wanted to go see Beyonce dance on the stage. She wanted to. Let's just say the average the average age of retirement right now is at 65. So let's put 65 there. Let's just say she didn't put nothing in there monthly, right? What would that number be? $163,000 with the 10% return. With her already investment of 5,000. But let's just say she put $50 in there a month for 30 years. She's at $353,000 in that account. Oh my goodness. This is scary. I want to show you all the math. I want to show you all the math, right? Let's say you're 30. And let's say you're going to retire at 65. If the average person is making $45,000 a year, let's say $48,000 is the average salary, times that by 15%. Let's say if you're investing $7,000 a year, which is the 15%, because once I teach you, once you get out of debt, or once you have a fully funded emergency fund, start investing 15%. So 7,200 divided over 12, that's 600. Let's just say this young lady invested $600 a month into her retirement account because she's giving the 15% of her salary. And she started with, let's just say 5,000 of her investment over 30 years, you guys. That's $2.4 million. $2.4 million. $2.4 million. I want to encourage you to go to anthonyoneal.com and check out the wealth calculator. And I want you to play around with these numbers for yourself. You can bring it back over to me, CJ. Um, I want you to play around with the numbers for yourself. Because I, again, I'm not knocking Beyonce. I don't have any issues with Beyonce. I love Beyonce. I love what she is doing. I love what she's building. And Beyonce is wise with her money. She's wise with her platform. Um, but at the same time, you guys, I don't want us to be sitting here giving Beyonce a um, million dollars, two million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. And we're making her wealthy and we're going back home broke. Man, I'm a dance with Beyonce to her music in the shower. <laughs> and I'm not saying never enjoy yourself. What I am saying is uh, from the very beginning is start with the priorities. Make sure that you are in a decent place. OK, just make sure that you have, you know, your, your financial foundations are covered. That's it. That's it. That's all that I'm asking for you. For you. When my cousins called and asked me, you know, can they go to the Beyonce concert uh, because I had some connections? I'm like, yeah, I got you. I took care of them and I took care of it. You know why? Because my my foundation is taken care of. I'm already investing. So for fun, I'll send my cousins and them off to a Beyonce concert. That's not a problem. Go enjoy yourself. Go have a good time. They made good grades. They ha they, they they are uh, one of them's already in school, going to college. Man, listen. Listen, I'm all for it. So I created this free tool on my website, right? On my website. If you go to anthonyoneal.com, uh, you'll find it. You can click free tools. It'll be on the front page. But I'm telling you right now, there's no way in the world I'm giving Beyonce. I'm giving um, um, who else out on tour. I mean, I just took my team to the Drake concert uh, just the other day. And boy, did we have a blast. I bought us all a suite and it was absolutely amazing. Um, but before... 
um, if I didn't have a foundation, if I didn't have a savings account, if I didn't have investment, um, if my company wasn't making profit, I would not be buying out of suite to take my team in the Neatness Network on uh, on the Drake concert. I'm not on <laughs> to the Drake concert because my foundation, my priorities have to be covered. If you go into the Beyonce, if, if you have, if you've been to the Beyonce concert, drop it in the comments. Let me know if you are going to the Beyonce concert, drop it in the comments, let me know. But when you drop it in the comments, let me know this. Do you have a savings? Do you have an investment account? If you're investing in Beyonce, and if you're taking money from your savings to go to the Beyonce, I'm gonna tell you right now, that is a dumb decision. That is not wise. And uh, my sister is calling me on Skype. <laughs> That's the sound you probably hear. But. Listen, love you all. I got to jump over to this meeting. Um, let me know your thoughts. Am I wrong? Am I wrong to tell people if you do not have an investment, I'm not have. If you do not have a savings account and if you are not investing at all, you should not be going to any concert, not just Beyonce, to Drake, to, to any of them. Am I wrong for saying that, y'all? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong to say don't give away $100,000? Stack the money. Then, once you have your foundations covered, go enjoy yourself. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. It's your boy, AO, and I'm gonna drop the link to the wealth calculator in uh, the show notes. All right, love y'all. Peace out.